you wake up in the morning with a headache every morning. Denise Hoover has started every day in pain for the last 20 years. Sleep apnea has been robbing her of a deep sleep. Your tongue basically blocks your airway and you, do, you stop breathing. You wake up gasping. It's so bad, Denise hasn't even had a dream in two decades. Instead, she's awake and sometimes wrestling with a CPAP mask. Just to give you a sense of what it's like to try to sleep with this contraption on your face, this part goes over your head and then this part goes under your nose and look at the air that comes out of this thing. We show you what this looks like. She so finally went to see Dr. Right Ryan here. Seuss at UPMC Mercy. There's a lead that's tunneled up under the skin and connected up to the nerve. This is he had a brand new here. solution that could end up making medical airway. history. This is our physician programmer. It's called upper airway stimulation and UPMC has led the international trials. And what did that feel like? Can and on this afternoon, Chan exactly Levin was invited to watch Dr. Seuss device. turn on the country's yeah. very first FDA approved device. So there it is there. Do you see it move? OK, to go up to 0.8 milliamps. The generator was implanted in Denise's chest a few weeks ago. That's it. She turns it on with this remote before bed, and a signal is sent to her tongue, moving it away from the airway. Hit that on button one more time. Studies show it can reduce the effects of sleep apnea by at least 70 percent. I think this is really a game changer, and I think it could help millions of people. So Denise was sent home for her first night's sleep, and Channel 11 checked in with her the next morning at work. It must have done its job because I fell asleep. Denise says she's very hopeful a little fine-tuning will only improve the results. The big question did you have a dream? No, I didn't get into that deep of a sleep yet. <laughs> In Pittsburgh, it's coming. Catherine Amenta. <laughs> That's my hope. Channel 11 News.